As we all know, the majority of all Pokemon have genders. Obviously. And as we also know, there are some Pokemon that have differences in their appearances, depending on what gender they are. Some of these differences are very noticeable, and some aren't. So today, I'm going to be going through every single Pokemon with a gender difference, and go over what that gender difference is. But before I get into this, let me tell you guys about Amino Apps. Pokemino, in my opinion, is the best community app for Pokemon fans. The app allows you to interact with people all around the world by posting pretty much anything Pokemon related, from blogs to discussions to polls and more. But the best way to find Pokemino, as well as any Amino that you're looking for, including Smash Brothers, Undertale, Anime and Manga, and even Pokemon Go, you can use the Amino Master app, which should be the first app that appears when you type Amino into the search bar of the Play Store. And best of all, if there isn't an Amino that you're looking for, you can create your own community with the Amino Creator. The Amino app that I use the most is of course Pokemon, so if you want to follow me on Pokemino, my username is the exact same as my YouTube name, and you'll know it's me from the verified mark on my account. I use the app quite frequently, posting questions or polls for possible future videos, so be sure to give me a follow if you're on the Pokemino app. And with all that out of the way, let's take a look at every Pokemon with a gender difference so far, and what that gender difference is. So, going in order of dex entry, we have Venusaur. The female has a seed on the top of the flower, whereas the male does not. Butterfree. The bottom parts of the female's wings have a purple spot, while the male's wings does not. Rotata and Raticate. The males have slightly longer whiskers than the females. Pikachu and Raichu. The differences of each gender are in the tails, with female Pikachus having a heart-shaped tail, as opposed to the male's flat tail, and male Raichus having a pointed tail, while the tip of the females isn't pointed. Nidoran. Arguably the most famous gender difference in the entire game. The male is purple, whereas the female is light blue, and both lines have a completely different evolution line. Zubat and Golbat. The males have slightly longer fangs than the females. Gloom and Vileplume. The females have one big spot on each bud, whereas the males have multiple small spots on each bud. Kadabra and Alakazam. The males have longer moustaches than the females. All whiskers, as Bulbapedia says. But Cerebi calls them moustaches. So, either way works, I guess. Doduo and Dodrio. Both the males have black necks, while the females' necks are beige. Hypno. The females have more colour fur than the males. Rhyhorn and Rhydon. The males have slightly longer horns than the females. Goldeen and Seeking. Same case with Rhyhorn and Rhydon. The males have slightly longer horns than the females. Scyther. This is a pretty difficult gender difference to spot in my opinion, but the females have slightly larger abdomens than the males. Magikarp and Gyarados. Here, the gender differences are in the colours of the whiskers, with female Magikarp having white whiskers, and male Magikarps having yellow whiskers, and male Gyarados having blue whiskers, while the female Gyarados have white whiskers. Meganium. The males have longer antennas than the females. Interesting that for the gender difference they decided to change the antennas, rather than alter the giant flowers around the neck. Lediba and Ledian. Same as Meganium, the males have slightly longer antennas than the females. Zatu. The males have three yellow stripes on the body, while the females only have two. Sudowoodo. The branch on the male's head is slightly bigger than the females. Polytoad. The male's cheeks are slightly bigger than the females. Apon. The female's head fur is slightly longer than the males. Wooper. The males have two sets of gill branches, as opposed to one on the females. Quagsire. The fins on the back of the males are slightly bigger than the females. Murkrow. The male's hat is bigger and more upright, whereas the females are slightly more slanted. Yes, Bulbapedia calls Murkrow's head a hat. Wobbuffet. Females have lipstick. That's pretty unique compared to the others. Giraffarig. The male's body pattern of yellow and brown is 50-50, while the females is 75-25. Gligar. The male has a slightly bigger stinger compared to the female. Steelix. The males have an extra tooth showing, while the female does not. Scizor. Like Scyther, the females have slightly larger abdomens than the males, but this time it's easier to spot. Heracross. The females have more heart-shaped horns compared to the males. Sneasel. The males have bigger feathers than the females. Ursaring. The females have longer shoulder fur than the males. Piloswine. The males have longer tusks than the females. Octillery. The males have bigger suction cups than the females. Houndoom. The males' horns are more curled and slightly longer than the females. Donphan. Like Piloswine, the males have longer tusks than the females. Torchic. This is hands down the hardest to notice gender difference. Can you spot it yet? Well, all it is, is that male Torchics have a black speck on its backside. That's it. Like, was this gender difference even worth it? Cumbuskin. The male's head feathers are ever so slightly bigger than the females. Blaziken. The male's head crest is ever so slightly longer than the females. Beautifly. The red spots on the males are bigger than the females. Dustox. The males have slightly bigger antennas than the females. Ludicolo. The stripes on the male are thicker than the stripes on the females. Nuzleaf and Shiftry. The leaves on the males are slightly bigger than the leaves on the females. Meditite. The ears on the males are slightly higher than the females. Medicham. The bulb on the male is slightly larger than the females. 
Rosalia. The female's body leaf is longer than the male's body leaf. Gulpin and Swalot. The male Gulpin's feather is bigger than the female's, while the male Swalots have longer whiskers than the female's. Numble and Camarot. The females have larger humps than the males. Cacturn. The females have one large spike on their chest, while the male have two smaller spikes instead. Milotic. The females have longer hair fins than the males. Relicanth. The males have a slightly longer jaw guard than the females. Starly, Staravia, and Staraptor. The males all have bigger forehead spots than the females. Bidoof and Bibarol. The males have slightly more fur than the females. On the tail for Bidoof, and on the face for Bibarol. Cricketot and Cricketoon. The female Cricketots have bigger collars than the males, while male Cricketoons have bigger moustaches than the females. Shinx, Luxio, and Luxray. All the manes on the males are bigger than the females. And male Shinx and Luxios also have more black fur on the hind legs than the females. Roserade. The females have longer capes than the males. Combi. The females have a red mark on the bottom face. Pachirisu. The males have a longer head stripe than the females. Weasel and Floatzel. The males have two white spots on the back as opposed to the females that only have one. Amberpom. The females have longer head hair than the males. Gibble, Gabite, and Garchomp. The males have a chip in their fin, while the females' fins do not. Hippopotas and Hippaldon. The male and female Hippopotas have their colours inverted, while the male Hippaldon has a light brown colour as opposed to the dark grey colour of the females. Krogunk and Toxicroak. The female's bandages are slightly higher than the males, and the throat sack of the male Toxicroak is bigger than the females. Finion and Luminion. The females have slightly bigger fins than the males. Snova and Abomasnow. Male Snovas have a brown middle section, while the female's middle section is white, and female Abomasnows have longer chest fur than the males. Weavile. The males have longer ear feathers than the females. Tangrowth. The females have more magenta on their fingers than the males. Mamoswine. Like Pyloswine, the males have longer tusks than the females. Unpheasant. The males have the pink mask part on their face, and a green underside, as opposed to the females who have a brown underside. Frillish and Jellicent. To be honest, I have no idea what these differences are. I mean, the colours look the same, the tentacles look the same, eyelashes, colour, even the shiny forms, they'd all look the same to me. Like, come on, no one's going to tell the difference between these two. Almost as bad as Torchic if you ask me. Pyroar. The males have a large mane compared to the females' long hair, they also have slightly different shaped tails, and the females have slightly more light brown fur across the body. And finally, Meowstic. The appearances of both the male and female Meowsticks are drastically different, from the shapes to the colours of the body and the eyes, and what makes this gender difference the most unique and the most important alongside Nidoran is the difference in moveset and abilities. The males learn a lot more status moves and get the hidden ability Prankster, whereas the females learn a lot more attacking moves and get the hidden ability Competitive. And that is every Pokemon with a gender difference so far, from Generation 1 to Generation 6. There's bound to be more Pokemon in Generation 7 to have gender differences. Unlikely there'll be enough for a Part 2 video, but I guess we'll have to see. So, were there any gender differences that you didn't know about before now? Are there still any gender differences that you're finding too difficult to spot? Like, seriously, who's going to tell the difference between a male and a female Frillish? But overall, hopefully you did learn about some of the gender differences that you didn't know about before. And please leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Pokemon videos in the future. And until next time, thanks so much for watching.